Lean is very different from Six Sigma. Lean is concerned with efficiency. It focuses on how operational processes are designed and managed to minimize inefficiencies. The inefficiencies that can be attributed to delays, errors, and waste. Consider the challenges faced by the crew staff and vendors of Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines when the Symphony of the Seas docks early a.m. on Saturday mornings at the Port of Miami. Between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m., nearly 7,000 passengers depart the ship and another 7,000 board. While this is a challenge by itself, consider what goes on behind the scenes. More than 20,000 pieces of luggage must be moved, 2,759 staterooms cleaned, trash unloaded, and food supplies replenished. This carefully orchestrated process leaves no room for delays, errors, or waste. Every step must be efficient, or to say this another way, the turnaround process must be lean. There are so many other situations where process efficiency is key to delivering customer value. Emergency departments at hospitals must be designed to minimize delays so patients can be seen soon after they arrive. Online retailers must design logistics processes to minimize order processing delays and in many cases to deliver in one day. And manufacturing operations must be designed to minimize the waste associated with unnecessary process steps. Six Sigma, on the other hand, focuses on quality and consistency. And by consistency, we mean delivering products and services that day after day meet quality standards. The product we deliver today is just like the one that is delivered tomorrow. When we eat at a restaurant, purchase a new hard drive, or travel on an airplane, we expect a certain level of quality. The role of Six Sigma is to ensure that this level of quality is delivered to the customer. Sometimes companies fail to meet the challenge. Takata, a Japanese manufacturer of auto airbags, is one such example. These airbags relied on a compound of ammonium nitrate that expands upon impact, inflates the bag, and thereby protects the driver and passenger from head or body injuries. However, the compound broke down when exposed to moisture and temperature swings. Some accidentally exploded, sending metal fragments through the passenger compartment. In total, 19 auto manufacturers recalled approximately 37 million vehicles in which over 50 million airbags were replaced. It was the largest recall in automotive history. Moreover, the human toll was substantial. 12 people died and almost 200 were injured. Then there were the Boeing MAX 8 disasters when two aircraft within six months of each other crashed shortly after takeoff. In total, 346 people died. The problem was traced to software problems in the maneuvering characteristics augmentation system known as MCAS. As part of the autopilot system, the MCAS prevented the pilots from overriding the system and recovering from the steep descent. They tried to overcome the system controls, but failed. While the Takata and Boeing failures reached headline status, there are countless stories of quality failures. Less known, but nonetheless underscoring the challenge that organizations face to assure their products 
and services meet quality standards. The job of Six Sigma is to prevent these failures by instituting effective quality control processes at the manufacturing or service level before it's too late. This then is the difference between Lean and Six Sigma. Lean focuses on efficiency while Six Sigma focuses on quality. Both are essential to support sustained competitive positions in an industry.